Welcome you to the 2023 Heart of America Athletic Conference Baseball Media Day. I'm your host, Stephen Davis, and right now we're joined by Park University head baseball coach, Carrie Lundy, and Trent Turner. Coach Lundy, Trent, how are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for having us. Yes, absolutely. Coach, we'll start with you. Introduce us to Trent and uh, tell us what he means to your program right now. Well, Trent came in, transferred from Arizona Christian. I believe this is going to be his third year. Is that right, Trent? Yes, three, it is. Three years. Uh, he's come in here, plays the game the right way. He's had very good seasons for us. This will be his senior year. Um, and he's a heck of a, a, a student, too, in the classroom, academic all-American type and uh, all-conference uh, academic uh, for the heart of America also. All right, he's going to be, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a major factor. He, he's got power, speed. Uh, like I say, he's a good leader on the team, uh, verbal and his actions, the way he plays, he plays the game exactly the way a coach likes to see it. Trent, quite an introduction there from your coach. Let's, uh, let's start with the academic side. Coach mentioned you're good there. What's your major? Uh, my major is secondary education with an emphasis in social science. So I'm trying to be a high school history teacher. Is that the goal uh, after the baseball run ends at Park? Uh, go go teach? Or are you going to stay involved in baseball somehow, maybe? Yes, I've been uh, talking to coaches as well. So I'm planning to be coaching baseball at a high school. So that's uh, that's my dream. And that's always what I wanted to do. Very cool. All right. Tell us about your experience playing there at Park and what it's meant for you to be able to continue playing the sport you love there while getting an education. Um, it's been great, just great experiences, just being able to meet new guys. The first year I was here was the year after COVID, so it just felt good to be back playing baseball again and just getting back to normal life. And then we've been just building off uh, year after year of what we've been doing. So I feel like this is this is going to be the, a good year for the Pirates. Coach, it's been a pretty typical winter uh, in terms of temperatures in the, the Kansas City and Parkville area. You guys probably haven't been able to get outside much. What has your team been able to do so far, and what have you seen from your guys? Well, we, we got lucky there the first week back from school. We got outside for three or four days, and guys were surprised by that, I'm pretty sure. But they uh, we got quite a bit of work in. Uh, now it's back indoors, and it gets a little bit monotonous in, indoors, but it is – that's the baseball in the Midwest. So we're going to go ahead and be prepared, be ready to go and no excuses. Uh, it's going to be a good year for the Pirates. Absolutely. Your team's going to make their annual trip uh, down to Texas. You're going to face Dallas Christian and Austin college. What are you looking for in uh, the early games as you get things going? Well, since we probably won't get outside again until we get down there, you just never know how, how we'll go down there. Uh, on the way back, though, we play Austin and we play McPherson College. They had a great season last year uh, in the KCAC. They had a 40-win season, I know, and I think their uh, preseason pick second, and I know they're just barely on the outside of the top 25. They're a good program right now. So we're looking forward to the start of the season, and I think our schedule is uh, a tough one. Uh, we're going to challenge us a little bit. I think our Season last year was pretty good. Uh, we just need to build from that and learn from it. We know we can beat some people now, so uh, that's going to give us confidence. And we we only lost one uh, one player, position player, a right fielder, uh, Trevor Guzzo. Everybody else is back, so uh, we're pretty happy about that. And I think one of our weaknesses was pitching depth, and I think we recruited there. And I think uh, you know we should have enough to compete. And uh, hopefully we learned a lot from uh, the last couple seasons, and we played with a little sense of urgency. It should be should be a good 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 year this year. Coach, let's talk about some of the names on this year's team. You mentioned everybody back, uh, other than the right fielder, or who were some names uh, with the bats. You're, you're looking for some big things from this year, and then same on the mound as well. We have uh, first team All Conference first baseman Bryce Dye. Um, He's going to break all of our power statistics here at Park University for a career. Um, our uh, shortstop, he was an honorable mention all-conference guy, um, Billy Rivera. He hit, I think, 370-something. Uh, our third baseman, he's two-time uh, honorable mention all-conference. Uh, Gold Glove winner is freshman year, Alex Rodriguez. Uh, Ricardo Hernandez, our catcher. Only got to catch uh, four innings for us the first game of the year. He pulled his hamstring and tried to battle through that all year. 
hit the ball pretty well. I think we had a 380. He was honorable mention in all conference. Um, power numbers really wasn't what he would like it to be. And I'm sure that, that lower half, he just didn't have that in his swing. And Casey Marichal, our senior catcher, he uh, was also honorable mention all conference. Uh, Trent Turner should have been. I'm not sure how he got overlooked. He hit, I don't know, it was about 360 with eight home runs and uh, several RBIs and stuff. So I don't know why he didn't get on that list, but he should have. Trent, uh, let's talk uh, about – go ahead, Coach. One more thing, uh, our pitching staff, uh, we got Angel LeBron back. Uh, I think he was seven and three last year, really good pitcher. And then Kyler Barnett had a very good campaign uh, for a sophomore. He shut out Central Methodist, first time they've been shut out since 2017. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Merkel, the first-team All-American guy. And uh, so he proved that uh, he's, he's growing up in front of us. So we're really looking forward for those two um, to be the probably the, the front runners for our rotation. Trent, let's flip back over to you. Uh, we mentioned you guys are going to start down in Texas. How much are you and your teammates looking forward to getting out on the field and getting a little bit of warmer weather for some games? Yes, I'm very excited. It'll be good to be back out on the field and we'll just be able to play together. I know that practicing is a little bit different than playing together. So I'm excited to just uh, see how everyone plays together and just with the new guys. And I know how the old guys are going to be playing together. So definitely excited to be back inside the warmer weather. Absolutely. Who's your favorite major league player, Trent? Uh, do you have a favorite major league team that you root for? Um, I am from Arizona and my favorite player is Paul Goldschmidt and he's on the Cardinals now, but mm -hmm. uh, born and raised in Arizona. So I'm, I'm a Diamondbacks fan. Very cool. Trent, last question for you. Your team qualified for the Hart tournament last year. What do you hope your team can take from that experience and uh, take with them into this year? Um, I just think that we know that that we can play at a high level of baseball. And I just feel like we just need to continue to build build off that and just uh, be now we know what it takes to make it farther in the tournament and possibly making it to the regionals and then to the World Series. Coach Lundy, back to you. You were recently inducted into the Park Athletics Wall of Honor as an alum, former player and coach at your alma mater. What does that honor mean for you to, to, to be up on the wall now? Well, it was humbling, that's for sure. I uh, wasn't expecting that at this time. You know, usually it comes a little – well, at the end, they kind of feel sorry for you, so they want to try to do something for you at the end. So I don't know if they're trying to tell me something or not, but we got a few more years left in us, so we're, we're looking forward to that. But it, it was pretty humbling and a pretty good honor there. That I think a lot of our ex-teammates that I had uh, showed up for it, and uh, it was good to see them too. Wow, it's very cool and well deserved for you. And coach, we'll round things out with you. Talk about the heart for a moment. How tough of a grind it is once you get into heart conference play week after week. Well, I think this is going to be our third year in the heart. I think uh, pretty tough conference. Uh, our divisions pretty stacked with Central Methodist and Mid America. Both of them been to the World Series the last couple of years. Baker's on the rise. And then on the other side, I don't know too much about the other teams that uh, on the north side, uh, but we played Clark and uh, uh, Grandview. And I think this year we got um, Peru State, I believe. And I'm not sure who the other one is, to be honest with you. But oh, William Penn, we played them too in non-con games before. So that that side of the conference is pretty tough also. it This is a – every week you got to be come to play and you got to play with some urgency and – um, you got to play it like it's your last game if you want to succeed in this conference, I believe. It's just going to be a tough one. Coach Lundy, Trent, thank you so much for your time today. Good luck to the Pirates in 2023. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us.